Uh, good morning and good afternoon, everyone. So my name is Gaurav Sehel, and I am from Mumbai, India. And I currently head the patent filing and prosecution team of Sun Pharmaceutical Industries Limited and the other group companies for Sun Pharma. Sun Pharma is largest Indian uh, pharmaceutical company and fifth largest generic pharma company in the world. So yeah, my name is Javier Bilbao. Uh, I'm Spanish, though living in Switzerland and working for Melexis, which is a semiconductor company. I am the IP strategy manager, uh, which is a global function for the company in order to um, lay down the IP strategy and the money to, with the business unit. Uh, I also lead the IP team internally. Um, and uh, Melexis is a semiconductor company, a uh, worldwide leader in precision sensors, uh, mostly for the automotive industry, but we also have uh, other industries that we serve. My name is Miglana Dimitrova. I'm a Bulgarian qualified warrior. Uh, I'm a founding partner at NGMI Legal. Um, we are fully scope for law firm focusing on IP law, but also dealing a lot with m &A transactions, general corporate advice, commercial contracts, as well as uh, gaming and gambling regulatory advice. Just tell us about your experience when it comes to digitization in your uh, IP department and your law firm as well. Uh, let's start off with uh, Javier, perhaps. Yes. Okay, yeah, I see that I'm muted. Very good. So I think that for us, um, we went through a process of a full digitalization of the IP department. Uh, we have digitalized it in different ways. So the first one was actually we have uh, implemented uh, portfolio management tools in the IP department. We are a semiconductor company that is worldwide distributed and uh, we have a relatively large uh, patent portfolio and obviously that was critical for us in order to have a good overview and also to manage not only the patents from a passive point of view for the products but also strategically. Uh, something that I think is more and more critical the more we move into partnerships. Um, and actually after that first digitalization, uh, we have moved forward into uh, further digitalization, which is more towards IDF flows and invention disclosure and ideation. So we have uh, two platforms in order to do that, which actually turned out to be a great, uh, especially in these current times, we actually have seen an increase of uh, invention disclosure during, uh, during this time. Um, and um, finally, the last digital tool that we have implemented in our company was uh, a pattern intelligent tool in order to really exploit all the fragmented knowledge that we have in our company. So really to assess uh, our own patterns and also uh, third party patterns that we are interested in and have it uh, really a company intelligence uh, single point of information. What were the challenges uh, that prompted you to use technology uh, in, in within your um, department or law firm? Um, Gura, would you like to answer that first? Yeah, sure, Victoria. So I, I would, although there are multiple challenges uh, which a company or a law firm faces when handling such a large portfolio, but the, there were two triggers which actually uh, I can say are the key elements for uh, complete digitization of the IP department. One was the uh, size of the company suddenly increased to almost uh, a size of double of its existing, whereas the number of resources were not doubled in that proportion. So that, that was a time when it was certainly required that to manage the deadlines, to manage uh, the large portfolio, we must have you know, a complete docketing system which can take care of the uh, all kind of legal and formal requirements as well as the uh, docketing systems. So this was one. And second was uh, as soon as the portfolio size increased, the number of invoices that we were receiving from all the law firms that suddenly got uh, we, we were seeking we were seeing a lot of inflow of invoices every now and then and my uh, team members were just busy in reviewing those invoices. So that was the time when I introduced complete digitization of my invoice handling system. And at present, we are using Thomson Reuters legal tracker system, which is fully integrated with our SAP system for things. So all manual systems have been removed and not only the efficiency is increased, but also the speed. 
so these these were the two basic challenges which uh, helped us in thinking in that direction that yes digitization is something which must be done so that the resources can be optimally utilized for other things if you can just tell us about what what are the challenges that you're facing at the moment um let's start with javier well um... One of the biggest challenges I think that we are currently facing is more data consistency. So currently, even though we have several tools and uh, unfortunately we couldn't find the one fits all, um, data consistency is one of the biggest problems we are facing. Uh, still, it requires quite a lot of manual work uh, to get in. Uh, it requires also to train uh, the firms and the law firms uh, in order to put the data in the, the tools or otherwise have internal people. And that's one of the biggest uh, challenges that we are currently facing in order to, to move forward with this digitalization, uh, how much we can trust basically uh, the data that we are getting out from the system. And um, the other challenge, I would say, it's more about cultural change and about actually how not only we have new tools uh, within, the IP, uh, within the IP group that I think we more quickly adopted but i think one of the biggest leverages those ip tools have is about to embrace the whole organization and that everybody contributes to the knowledge uh, on ip and so i think well contribute to the knowledge and get the knowledge from ip so therefore i think what is very interesting is that how to get the organization on board and how to get the people contributing why do you think the IP sector or in, in general some companies are uh, less likely to be innovative? Is it, do you think, because of the culture or, or it's just how the legal system is? Uh, many people think that the legal industry is rather conservative and slowly changing. And in my view, they, there are reasons for this. Uh, the big law firms are still resisting the the digitizing of sensitive information and the reason for this uh, for in my view from one side is um, that some clients may fear that their documents about uh, intended uh, highly confidential transactions are existing in the cloud and from the other side uh, probably the, the legal sector itself is still re reluctant uh, to proceed with the full digitalization. Another issue is also uh, that the lawyers, uh, including uh, our law firm, um, is co considering is the uh, is the is the trust is the client is the trust of the clients. This includes also the trust in fully automated uh, digital legal services in general. Uh, however. Uh, we are living in an era that fast technology developments and the financial industry, for example, has had a big success with the online banking. So it seems unusual that the clients uh, uh, are not willing to virtually sign a document. And uh, they are still, uh, it's understandable why, why any sector that has dealing with sensitive information may be reluctant to digitalize. However, we're living in an era that there are many ways to secure the online data. Is there anything that you think is missing from the IP sector uh, in terms of technology or is there anything that you haven't been able to fi find um, uh, to implement uh, in your uh, department? So let's start with Gurav. <laughs> Yeah, so the one, one point I already captured was, uh, which I, I seriously feel is missing, a, is a connecting link between the different kind of digital digitization and automation tools that we face. And that is one area which uh, really needs some kind of uh, uh, improvements because as and when any company is sold off or acquired or in licensed, that that becomes a challenge. So uh, that is one major challenge, which I feel is uh, clearly a gap at present. Thank you. Uh, and Javier? Yeah, well, from my side, I think one of the parts from IP that hasn't been 
really consider yet to to for the digitalization is pretty much the drafting phase i think there there is a huge potential uh, that is yet to be untapped in terms of reuse um of the information so companies public uh um yeah sorry i had another sound in between uh, so uh, companies do get a lot of information out thanks to their patents and there is a lot of the text that can be reused from patent application to patent application because normally companies are within a technology or a technology area and i think that will be extremely useful in order to reduce the the amount of hours spent for drafting and not only that but also to increase the quality of the draftings um, and i wish that uh, there were tools in order to to enhance a bit this patent attorney skills yeah, thank you. And Miglena? Um, I was thinking, actually, it's very interesting. I was thinking of two, um, two, two things that, that probably um, are currently, uh, at least to my understanding and to my view, not that developed. Uh, the one of this is the uh, existence of a trustworthy legal searches for litigation and IP cases that can make a reliable summary of the conclusions of the courts on the merits that I think it's uh, it will be very helpful and very useful uh, because you can make searches on the on the on the relevant cases but uh, if you can go through all the all the legal all the legal mm, uh, mm, decisions and all the cases that are extremely long it, it's a lot of time consuming and that's I think it will be very very useful to have this and the other thing is with regard to that, that I was um, thinking even two or three year, years ago, it's um, with regard to the uh, IP law, um, there is still no technology for identifying digital content or visualization and pictures that have been already protected by law or somehow like a, like a trademark. Because in the digital world, if, if you, if you, there, if there are any small changes in the in the content of the wording, for example, or in the visualization, in the picture, if you change a color or a resolution, then uh, this will make uh, um, difficult uh, for the digitalization tool to to identify the changes and to identify that already a currently existing uh, object that is uh, subject to patents and protection. Uh, yes, of course. Thank you very much. Um, one thing I wanted to mention that all of our attendees and speakers as well, if you are interested in trial in Pakama as well, uh, we are happy to offer a month uh, free trial for everyone here. So just let me know as well uh, in an email. Um, and thank you very much again for joining. Um, hopefully we'll have a couple more webinars in the coming weeks. Um, and we'll let you know about when when they will be and the subject as well. So thank you. Thank you very much, Victoria, Thanks. for inviting us. It was a pleasure. Thank you, everyone. Stay thank safe. You. Thank you. Thank you.